Hello, I work for the Department of Environmental Quality in the Land Protection Division's Superfund program. We clean up land around Oklahoma that has been polluted with hazardous chemicals from old refineries or industries. We turn them from sites like this to clean, reusable sites like this. So how do we know how to clean up a polluted site when you can't see through the surface of the ground? We have to explore through the soil and into what lies beneath us. Soil is the top layer of earth that plants grow in. It contains minerals, moisture, bacteria, and decaying plant matter. We'll need to start by drilling into the ground and taking core samples. Core samples are cylindrical sections of rock collected from drilling into the ground. A drill is the large tool we use to make those holes. The core samples are then extracted and brought to the surface where they are measured, examined, and described so we know what layers of rock are at what depths. These layers of rock are called horizons. You could have seven horizons, four cake horizons, and three frosting horizons between them. We need two important things before we drill. First, we need a sampling plan. We need to decide whether to drill down into the soil at random locations, in a straight line, or for this example, we'll use a grid system. And second, we need to call Oki. They come to your site and mark the locations of all the underground utilities like natural gas, electricity, and your phone lines. That way, we don't hit them when we drill into the ground. Okay, all of our utilities are marked. It's time to start drilling. I think I better get my safety gear on. Okay, we've got our safety equipment. We called Oki, and we have a sampling plan. So, let's visit our site and begin drilling to discover what horizons lay beneath us. Bring the drilling equipment. We now have our core samples laid out in front of us. Now we describe the core samples we extracted from the earth. We usually use a computer to help show a detailed picture of our description. This way, we can see a 3D model of what the ground looks like beneath us. As you can see, all of our core samples look the same. This tells us that the horizons are the same throughout the entire worksite. So let's go ahead and take a slice out of our worksite and see what our cake actually looks like.